here's another episode of Godly Play. Good morning, friends. Miss Megan here, and my husband. Hi, I'm Scott. Who's going to play ukulele for us this morning as we sing a silly song called The Fruit of the Spirit. So as we begin, listen for the types of fruit that we name throughout the song. And after we sing the song once, you'll get an opportunity to name your favorite fruit. So get ready to listen. Here we go. gentleness, and self-control. So now, can you think of your favorite fruit? When I point to you, name your favorite fruit. Here we go. Well, the fruit of the Spirit's not a, the fruit of the Spirit's not a, if you want to be a, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, control. Wow, friends, that was a lot of fruit. So in the coming weeks, I hope that you'll continue to remember the fruits of the Holy Spirit from this song, um, and we'll continue to memorize them through singing this song. So I'm very excited to continue to sing this song with you. Uh, we'll say goodbye for right now, and take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello children and adults and welcome to Godly Play. I'm so happy you're here and that we can worship together even if it is online. Children, it is so good to see you. As you can see, Mickey here is joining me. I'm wondering if you brought your stuffed animal. Yeah, if you didn't bring your stuffed animal, why don't you go grab your stuffed animal while I share a note with the parents real quick. Adults, it is so good to be worshiping with your children, even if it is online. Many of you may have known that we have just launched our virtual vacation Bible school called Compassion Camp. It's about being loved, being kind, being you. All the information about our Compassion Camp that's happening virtually, please be on the lookout for the e-blasts that went out on the weekly notes and also found on our website. If you have any questions, please just send me an email. And of course, if you still don't have one of these Growing in God's Love Bible, please let me know. Children, it is so good to see you again. I know that I'm picking up Miss Megan's song. I think I have all the fruits memorized by now. Do you have them memorized? Yeah, so there's, see if we can do it together. There's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's so many, but I always remind myself to sing the song and then that's how I remember them. Well, I'm so happy you're here with me this morning and I'm so excited for our story for today. Why don't we dive in? Our story comes from the book of Jeremiah. Can you say that with me? Jeremiah. He was a prophet. And our book story today comes from Jeremiah 1, 1 through 10, and 31, 31 through 34. Our story is called Speak Up, Jeremiah. And here you can see Jeremiah as a young child. And I think Jeremiah is an adult. So let's listen to our story. Have you ever felt like you had something really important to say, but you didn't know how to say it? What if you say the wrong thing? 
or someone gets mad. And it can be scary to speak up, even when you know it's important. Jeremiah was a prophet. A prophet is someone who delivers God's message to God's people. Jeremiah worried that he didn't have the right words to say to God's people. God said, Jeremiah, I know you. I knew you even before you were born. You can say these important words to my people. But Jeremiah was scared. Oh no, I don't think I can do that. I don't know how to talk like that, he said to God. God knew that Jeremiah was the right person for the job. God said to Jeremiah, go, speak, do not be afraid. I am with you. I will help you find the right words. Jeremiah listened and trusted God. Being a prophet was not an easy job. Jeremiah spoke hard words to God's people. Some people became angry. They didn't want to hear Jeremiah telling them that they were not being kind to one another. Change your ways. Say you're sorry. Listen to God, Jeremiah said. Some people hit Jeremiah. He was put in jail and then pushed down to the bottom of a muddy well. But Jeremiah, he didn't give up. He knew that he was doing the right thing. He knew that he needed to be God's voice. God was with them. God also had a message of hope for God's people. Jeremiah told them, God is going to make a new promise with you. God is going to make a new promise with you. And this promise will be for everyone, the youngest and the oldest. God promises to love all of you. You are God's people, each and every one of you. God will forgive you. Hmm. It's such a touching story of Jeremiah, who was used to speak up. And I wonder what did we hear in our story? What do you think Jeremiah sounded like when he gave God's message to God's people? What do you think he sounded like? Yeah, I imagine, you know, Jeremiah maybe having a deep voice or maybe a very loud booming voice. Hmm. And I wonder what we're hearing. If after this, we can try and draw what we think Jeremiah may have sounded like. What he may have sounded like when he was speaking up. I wonder what you see from our, so our story. What do you see around you? What do you see around you that reminds you of God's promises to love you? What do you see? Yeah, today I'm reminded as it's raining outside that God promises to bring fruit to the land, to bring waters to the land. And that I'm always reminded that the rain is a way that God loves me. I wonder what you think after you hear the story on how you can act on this story. God loves you and you are one of God's people. I wonder if you can name three ways that you can show God's love to others. Can you name three ways that you want to show God's love to others? Yeah. Wow, those are all really good ways. I wonder if we can pray. Let's pray together. Because I think prayer is a big and strong way to be able to ask God to be with us, to remind us to be kind and to give us the strength that this week 
we can show maybe in three ways, maybe in more than three ways, on how God's love is with us and how that love is with others as well. Will you pray with me? Let's pray. And you can repeat after me, okay? Dear God, we thank you for this day, for how you use Jeremiah to speak up to your people. We thank you for this example so that we can speak up too to show kindness to others and to show your love to others. Be with us and strengthen us. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time.